as of recently there has been a huge surplus in the whole creator economy or the overall creators emerging in this self-improvement and financial advice niche on youtube and there is no other man that comes to your mind better than Mr. Iman Gatsi himself. This man has single-handedly revolutionized the whole self-improvement slash financial advice space. And the one thing that has really helped him throughout the process and that really stands out on his channel is his thumbnails. His thumbnail process is very subtle, but is at the very same time very sophisticated that makes you click on the thumbnails. And today I will be telling you guys how you guys can create Iman Gazi style thumbnails so that you guys can also elevate your CDR. So let's dive right into it and get started. As always, the width is 1280, 1280 that is, height is 720, the resolution is at 300, and uh, we are good to go. We're going to press on create. All right, so we have our basic canvas in. So what's the next step? Well, usually it's going to be bringing in the character, the YouTuber that you're working for, or you, if you are yourself making a thumbnail for yourself, it's basically you going to be bringing in your picture. So since I am making an Iman Gatsi style thumbnail, let's just bring in Iman Gatsi himself into the thumbnail. All right, so here is a picture that I got. Um, so first of all, finding Iman Gatsi thumb like pic pictures <laughs> they are really difficult um, I found this from a video that he uploaded 10 things Iman Gatsi can't la can't live without um, so I just like took a snapshot within the video this was a really nice still that I found at around three minutes four minutes I'm not very sure I don't remember but this looked like a really good still let's go ahead and make a PNG out of it let's mask Iman out of the background so I have masked him out of the background and he is ready to go into our thumbnail canvas right there and we have him. I'm going to put him in the center because usually that's what he does with his thumbnails. Um, having him in the center, you know, with direct eye contact to the viewer, usually doing a certain hand gesture depending on the title of the video. All right, so since we don't really know what the title of this video is going to be, we are we are just going to be assuming that the title is how you can make money um, in 2023 or how you can generate passive income with these seven steps or seven ways of making passive income, seven ways of making uh, money online. So let's just go right into it we have mr iman Gazi right in the center um i'm gonna slightly increase the size of his and actually not increase but decrease by a bit just like that that looks absolutely phenomenal i'm gonna we are gonna centralize it as well um and uh that's pretty much it so we've got mr iman Gazi in here we can close this um the next thing is we are going to be working on the background now the background works like usually what iman Gazi does is not usually actually 90 percent of the time he's going to be having a dark background usually his living room or the room he is recording in blurred out um so we are going to be doing exactly that we are going to be bringing in a living room why did i not you know use the already nice looking studio he had in the background well at times it's not going to be like you are going to be getting some high quality images because i remember um about one and a half year ago iman Gatsi himself posted a um job opening on how you know you can join his team as a thumbnail designer and at that time he didn't really had these fancy backgrounds and everything so what you had to do was pick an image and then implement a good uh background in the background <laughs> if that makes sense um so we are going to be going on to google i prefer to use free pick uh, like those are really good assets plus i have a subscription over there so if we can use them for thumbnails as well um so yeah i'm just going to quickly find a living room background and be right back all right so i got this nice little living room background that i really like the texture off in the background like the sky like the, the wall looks absolutely phenomenal um plus the whole vibe ambient like ambience it feels as if it's a iman gatsi room so i'm just gonna pick this up adjust the background slightly um actually in a way that it looks as if it's actually a background that he is present in um now it's a bit too bright 
it's a bit too bright as you can notice and Iman Ghazi doesn't really go for bright you know backgrounds he is usually having darker backgrounds so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be firstly and foremostly adding a slight bit of a blur uh, the blur is going to be the caution blur that is 7.2 is going to be a bit too much let's reduce it to around 1.8 2.3 roughly then what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be pressing Control plus U on the keyboard and decreasing the lightness like around up till 85, 80, um, 85 would work fine. There we go. Then I usually reduce the saturation to zero as well um, to, you know, not have any saturation going in the background. There we have a you know, a basic overlay of how an Iman Gatsi thumbnail should look like. Now, since this is like seven ways or five ways or how many ways, however many ways of earning money online, we need to incorporate the whole factor that it's about earning money online. So what he basically usually does and uh, what I really like about his thumbnail is that he incorporates small little details like, very subtly. So for an instance, we are going to create like it's seven. So let's just create around three on this side and three on this side, um, small spheres um, of the color white. Just like this, this and this disperse around him. Um, so change the sizing of each the sphere. For an instance, this one could be a bit smaller. Um, this one is right about the perfect size. This could be the smaller one here. This can be a bit bigger and allocated over here. Um, we're gonna let's see, we're gonna be moving this a bit down. The first one can come here and actually this would come right around here. Um, let's see. So it's basically you that is going to be, you know, playing around with the small spheres. Now we have six of those here. Um, we are going to be like putting in small icons, like for an instance, if we are talking about earning money online, how can you earn money online? You can earn through Shopify, you can earn through um, e different e-commerce, you know, projects, you can earn through freelance, in freelance you can copyright, you can uh, video edit, you can graphic design, so basically we are going to be putting in some icons to represent those things so let me bring in some cool little icons really quickly all right so i've brought in different icons um to represent i've got this shopify icon that we're going to fit in this sphere then we've got this video editing um icon that i want to fit in right around in this sphere um just like that then we have a little video editing one another one this one is more like you know a cutting animation thing so it's like you're a content you know curator of a sort let's put that there then you have the um stock market trading let's put that over here um apart from that we can have a bit of a you know chart thingy going on as if you're an accountant, an online accountant or reports curator, um, multiple jobs available on Upwork. And since why did I create a <laughs> group for that? That was an accident. And then last but not least, we always have the drop shipping right over here. So let's just put it in the center of this sphere. And as you can see, the thumbnail is now making a lot more sense. Um, one thing that you most, most probably have noticed and already can see as I picked up this picture from within his thumb, uh, video, he has this blue light and red light. So he has half of the thumb like dark bluish, on the other end it's dark reddish. So how do we achieve that? You're basically going to create a new layer, um, drag a ruler for an instance if this ruler's grid does not show up just press ctrl r it's going to pop up and drag um you, you know move your cursor over here and drag a ruler out and put it in the center 
I'm going to quickly select this half. Since it's already blue over here, I'm going to be going in and picking a very dark blue and painting it just like that. Then inverse the selection, another layer. And for the other layer, we are going to be having red on this end. And what we will be doing is basically changing the blend mode to color just like that and then reducing the opacity by a bit because we don't want it to be entirely like blue and red we just want the subtle effect just like that maybe a bit more um you can say 45 maybe for the red and for the blue let's go for 40 just like that we can now remove the ruler um we pretty much have uh, Iman Ghazi thumbnail right in front of us. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, so let's get on with the color correction. Um, Iman Ghazi, right now, pretty raw. There isn't much of um, filters or, you know, effects going on on him. So, as always, first of all, going on into camera roll filter, separate camera roll filter. Video is available on the channel on how to, you know, have these color corrections going on for thumbnails. But one thing is, that video is for Mr. Beast thumbnails, not for Iman Ghazi style thumbnails. Iman Ghazi does not like to have those um, airbrushed color and uh, the texture on the skin. He likes it to be more realistic, more sharpened. So we are going to be going for that. You can just copy and paste the settings that I use. Um, as always, increasing the exposure and contrast, reducing the highlights by a bit, increasing the shadows, increasing the whites, and decreasing the blacks by a bit having the texture pumped up a bit and the clarity with a bit of a vibrance. Then in the details, I usually pump up the sharpening by 30 or 35, depending on the picture. There we go. Iman Gazi is looking absolutely wonderful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer over Iman Gazi. Red color selected, and I'm going to create small highlights. These are just quick highlights. You can actually do um, highlights in a much more effective and um, better way. But since this is just a quick tutorial and um, it does the job really efficiently, I usually prefer doing this. Then similarly, another one on the other end with the blue mark, like brush. And we're going to have slight highlights on him. Just like that. And decrease the opacity by like 85%, 285%. Then what I usually do is go in and have some black drop shadow behind the person as well. So that it has nice depth to it. Um, I, I think after that, what I usually do is go on right above like the color basically above the background the whole of the background um instead of like putting a overall vignette i just put some black strokes of brush on the edges to you know really give a nice subtle look to it uh what i have noticed is iman really likes to put in vignette um you may have seen on almost all of his thumbnails especially if he has white backgrounds the thumbnail has like around 60 percent of vignette on it uh vignette vignette i don't know how you guys pronounce it um but yeah instead of like putting it on the whole of the thumbnail i just like to you know put it on the background just like he does then to you know have a bit more of detail going on we can add black brush strokes behind the um spheres that we have created just like this just like that we're going to create a clipping mask on the whole of the grip put some blues reduce the opacity to 35 then similarly on the reds have the color red selected the opacity down to like 35 and with that you have this nice effect going on um so 
that's pretty much it you have a very good compelling thumbnail ready to go some additional things would be having his eyes um you know pop out more so as always selective color i have a separate tutorial for this as well um on the channel that you can always look into um but as you can see we're going to collect just put on a selective color filter to his eyes to make his eyes pop out a bit more than usual just like that um making his eyes you know pop out a bit more than usual duplicating the layer so that it's a bit more prominent and that is pretty much it there you have a nice Iman Gatsi thumbnail all ready to go. Now all you have to do is select all the layers, group them together, um, duplicate them just to be on the safe side, you know, and rasterize them, convert to smart object, go into camera raw filter for one last time to add in that final touch that I always love to add. That is to increase the contrast and exposure by a bit and decrease the highlights by a bit increase the shadows by a bit increasing the whites decreasing the blacks texture clarity just the things that we did previously but very little numbers and this time going in into the optics and then adding a bit of a vignette effect and boom we have a nice iman gazi thumbnail ready to go up on the channel um and that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much it it's a very simple and minimal process you don't really have to go ahead and learn a lot of things even if you're a beginner to this whole photoshop side you can do it and yeah i hope this video was informational um if it was let me know i am absolutely absolutely excited with all of the support that has been coming forward and i will try my best to keep keep you know creating these content videos on how to make thumbnails and how to improve thumbnails um, and try to even come out with more thumbnails or in general content on the channel um, yeah see you next time